I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Um, just doing a very impromptu video, basically. I have three new things that I bought at the weekend. I basically went flat shopping and got so exciting that's my moving to London. Ah, it's a bit crazy. Um, I'm gonna start vlogging again soon, so I'll just update you on all things life when I do my vlogs. But, so we went to go to view a flat in London, literally got to the front door and they were like, oh, um, someone else has just got it. So, and we're like, we just got a train in two hours. And they were like, oh yeah, well, someone got it. We're like, oh, for God's sake. So, um, we were like, let's go shopping. Let's, my favourite spot to go shopping in London is in Hackney. They have like an outlet place. So we went there, they've got a matches outlet, which is insane. And I struggled this time, not once, not twice, but three times, <laughs> not in the same place. So I have a little, um, designer outlet kind of haul type thing. So the first thing isn't actually really designed, uh, sorry James, there's a sleeve on it. Um, it's a Levi jacket and um, I will film myself wearing it in a minute, um, just probably in the mirror or something um, to like overlay it. But um, I basically, I found it in the men's section in TK Maxx um, and you can get some really good things in TK Maxx and the Hackney one I think is really good. Um, and it's like a Levi shearling lined denim jacket. And I think, I don't know how much they are originally. It well, should say, shouldn't it? Oh, it doesn't have the label on it. Where's the label? Okay, it doesn't have a label on it, but it was 50 pounds. And I think they're like 100 pounds normally or over 100 pounds. Um, but I just thought it was a good classic, something I've, always looked at it's an xxl but i quite like it oversized like, i don't think i'd wear it tight anyway i've got like a tight one from topshop um so yeah i just thought it was a really good investment i really love the wash that will be nice like for laying with dresses and stuff and i just like kind of like the oversized laid back look so i thought it'd be really cool so i wanted to get that um and that's the last thing i got the first thing i got was for a matches i always go there first literally um and i was so shocked to find this and it wasn't something that i necessarily was like looking for. It's something that I have my eye on um, and it was in one of my last blog posts about workwear actually which I'll link in the description below. Um, and I've been looking at them and thinking I really like them but I was like, it's a pair of shoes, but I was thinking, um, don't know if I wanna spend, buy them full price because I don't know how much I would wear them. But I think I'll wear them a lot and even if I don't, I'm like, they're a really nice shoe for like occasions. So. Balenciaga, literally obsessed with Balenciaga shoes, I'm really considerate of the trainers. Um, and they are the knife point shoes. So these are originally 545 at matches and I got them for 272 pounds. So they're like the um, knife point ones. They've got like a bow here and they're like satin material. Um, they're so nice and they said that they got them in three different colours um, and this was the last pair um, But yeah, they have some really good bargains in they also had a really nice pair of Gucci heeled loafers And like the really high heel ones with the pearls on and I was really torn between the two of them But these ones just fitted better and I thought they were more wearable and also I do think even though they're like quite a statement style I do think they're timeless because I think like they're just like really nice black pointy heels so I was very pleased with that purchase. Um, another pair of shoes to add to my collection. Um, and then, finally, but also the second thing I bought, um, I went to Burberry Outlet. We always go there because Jack loves Burberry and they just, he always likes to look for a really good, like in the hopes of finding the perfect trench coat. Um, and I thought, I'm gonna have a look at the knitwear because um, Claire from Chiquette had an uh, amazing Burberry knit last season or last winter and it looked amazing on her it's like a big chunky cardigan so I was like, I'm gonna have a look at the knitwear and I struck gold and I don't think it says how much this one was originally but it was kind of around some other jumpers and the other jumpers said they were 900 pounds originally and I got this one I wonder if it says it on the receipt so it doesn't say the original price but I got it for 149 pounds a big Burberry chunky knit um, and I'm pretty sure the original price would be around 900 to 2,000 pounds so with it doesn't say the price I'm gonna look it up um, but yeah it's amazing like a big chunky Burberry cable knit jumper like I just can't believe 
that I managed to get my hands on this. And I don't know if it's men's or women's, because there were some women's ones that were like all different table knits, like chunky patchwork, and they were really nice. When I tried them on, they were, even the large was like tight, and I was like, what is this? Um, so I think they were too like fashion for my liking. This is just like a really classic, chunky, oversized knit. I'm gonna try it on um, and show you guys. Maybe I'll just try both on now and show you at the end. But yeah, so I hope you like my little mini haul. It's very short and short and sweet. Let me know what you think. I think it's good because even though it's like their outlet prices, I spent under the price of just the Balenciaga shoes if I'd have bought them in matches and I got a Burberry jumper and a Levi denim jacket. So I got really good deals, I think. Um, but I've been there a million times and never bought anything before. So it's really hit and miss, like, but it's definitely worth checking it out. And we have just put an offer in, in a flat. And if we get it, then we'll literally be 15 minutes away from the outlet. So I will be there every week, just checking it out. Um, I'm gonna find out what the delivery day is and I'm gonna be there on the dot when it opens. Um, and I'm not even joking about that because it's insane in there. Oh, do you know what they had? They, I'll tell you a few things they had. So they had Chloe Drew bags. They had a few Fendi peekaboos. Um, they had the, you know the Gucci Marmont, like, I'll put a picture in. Lauren, my sister's got it in velvet. They had black with gold, but it was like the really big one, the like holdo style one. And I think it was only a thousand pounds. Probably should have got that. And um, they had the Gucci loafers that I said about. If you're size one, oh my God, they have got the most, the best selection of shoes. They had like Gucci loafers with the fur in like every color. Um, what else did they have? Loads of really nice sunglasses, quite a few Zimmerman dresses, some like Balenciaga clothes. Um, loads of jeans and trousers. What other bags did they have? Oh, they had some like Mark Cross box bags. Um, I'm trying to think what else they had. I can't remember, but it was really good. And I also think it, I think it's worth checking out the men's matches because there's two stores. And I went in the men's for Jack, and they had some really nice like. They have like more holders and briefcases, but like there was like a briefcase bag but it was like a Gucci briefcase, but it was like not like mega structured, so you could have it as like a bag if you wanted to. Um, and then also they had like loads of Gucci jumpers and t-shirts and stuff in the men's one, but not in the women's. So yeah, I definitely think it's worth checking the men's ones out. If you like me, don't really care about like wearing men's clothes. Um, so yeah, it's definitely worth checking out, right. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not gonna blabber on. I'm gonna try this jumper on. And I'm really actually enjoying talking to you guys, even though I'm on my own. So I think I am going to start vlogging again. I don't know if it's start today. Maybe I'll just start right now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start again. And I've got fashion week coming up. I'm going to Cyprus. It's Lauren's 30th. I think we might be going to Paris with Evolve. So I've got quite an exciting month coming up. Might be moving. So yeah, so um, I am going to start vlogging. I'm going to do it now. And you can watch me tidy up the house. <laughs> and yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video, stay tuned to see me try this and the other one on, uh, I'll leave links to anything down below, what I'll do is I'll leave links to High Street Alternatives, I'll leave links to the originals if I can find them, I couldn't find this online, uh, I'll put the prices in below of what I got them for and what they originally are and I'll also find like close alternatives, like if this one's sold out then I'll find a luxury alternative and I'll find a High Street Alternative, FYI Mango have got an amazing alternative for this for £50. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. So guys, I apologise for the state of the house. This is what I should be doing, that pile of ironing. But instead I'm showing you um, my things. So this is super oversized, like majorly. Oh, my in focus. Like majorly, but I, I love that about it. Um, and I love like, these are Levi's jeans actually. I'll link them below. Um, so it's like the denim like matches. It looks really nice. Oh, dog toys and drinks and bed. Um, oh, stop, focus. Sorry, this camera's like about to die. Um, but yeah, what do you think? I just think it's a really nice kind of um, really cool jacket and I love oversized things. So I don't think I'd want this tight. Um, but I know you can get this on like ASOS and stuff. So I'll link it down below. Um, and I'll have a look on TK Maxx too if they've got it like normally. So this is the Burberry jumper. It's so good. I love it. Uh, <laughs> um, so it's like really high neck. You can have it like this or you can roll it down. So it's just like really classic like winter knit. And it's like really oversized. I do think it is men's. And it's got sleeves like this too. So you can either have like, 
it over your hand and then have like access to your hand here or you can fold it back which I'll just do now to show you you can just fold it back and have it like this hand off hopefully but yeah like that it's I'm ugh, guys best shopping day ever who cares about the flat who needs a flat when you've got clothes like these um so yeah anyway I've already said bye but how incredible is this jumper like I'm in love um I'm going to that outlet all the time now um and make sure you stay tuned for my vlog to see more of me <laughs> bye